case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, the South Dakota Supreme Court was presented with an intriguing case involving Equitable Life Assurance Society and First National Bank. The point of contention was whether a seller could rightfully withdraw a property from an auction if both the buyer and seller had not given assent to the sale and the auction was with reserve. This question came into play when Equitable Life Assurance Society initiated a foreclosure action against the Olsons, homeowners who were in default on their mortgage. The First National Bank intervened and paid off the debt, taking over the mortgage from Equitable. Equitable tried to halt the ensuing sale of the property, but the sheriff's office went ahead with the auction anyway. The highest bid came from Carl Matthews, who offered $1,810,000. This prompted Equitable and other interested parties to appeal, seeking to invalidate the sale. Justice Gilbertson led the writing of the majority opinion, detailing how Equitable, the Olsons, and First National Bank had each separately appealed the order confirming the sale. The appeals were later consolidated, leading to the reversal of the order. Drawing attention to the notice of the sheriff's sale, which had explicitly stated that it was with reserve, it became evident that Equitable had the right to cancel the sale before it was completed. However, owing to a misinterpretation of the evidence, the trial court erroneously ruled that the sale was without reserve. This ruling was eventually overturned on appeal, essentially restoring the involved parties to their original positions as if the sale never occurred. The decision underscored the trial court's miscalculations and affirmed the right of a seller to withdraw a property from an auction conducted with reserve, once assent from both the seller and buyer had not been received. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.